think the thing about the the Metro East is um, you can see what's happened over the last couple generations with disinvestment. Um, the thing about that is also is that as we've traveled around the state, we've we've gone into communities that are both black, white, and brown that have been suffering from disinvestment. The automatic is, assumption is that people are weak, and this is not true. Um, in many, in most instances. Where communities are struggling, you'll find the more or the most resilient people because they're stitching it together to try to make things work. And what's missing is the investment, the capital investment uh, for infrastructure or for public schools. It's missing. And so uh, you can see the arch as we drive through East St. Louis. You can see the investment over the river. And um, I don't know why the state of Illinois hasn't matched that um, on our side. It's just an abomination. And um, we should all be ashamed. If you win, you most likely would have to work with Mike Madigan as speaker. Yeah. Why do you think you could work with Mike Madigan? Uh, look, I mean, I uh, when I won my race for Chicago City Council, which by the way, Chicago politics are pretty famous uh, around the world. I cut my teeth in Chicago politics, and I was a total outsider. I knocked on every single door in my community, and I won an election to represent nearly 60,000 people in Chicago. Um, and then when I got in, I had to work with the same people who worked against me. People who have been in office for 20, 30, in some cases 40 years. And I was able to get a lot done in my six and a half years uh, in office by building coalitions, organizing, and in many cases out hustling people who were working against me. That's the same thing with working with Mike Madigan. I'm already independent of him. I don't need to tell people or convince them that I am because I've never taken a dime from the Democratic Party. They never offered it to me. I've never asked for it. I've always been my own man and will continue to be if I'm elected governor. But that doesn't mean I won't work with him.